Hi friends! In this video of our Fall 2020 Harvest, I am starting with an update on our orchard, as I don't think I have shared it since June. In July, we put down cardboard and mulch between these trees here, and then my oldest daughter and I stopped by a nursery that was having a sale on hydrangeas and picked up some plants. Between the first set of trees, I planted these mini hydrangeas with some stepping stones in between to make a bit of a path. And there are also larger hydrangeas that have been planted by the solar canopy. Here I started a pollinator garden with some bergamot, some butterfly weed, and some lavender. And I will be putting in a lot more flowers for the pollinators next year. Later in the year, we put cardboard and mulch between these last two trees, but nothing is there yet. Hopefully we'll put some shrubs and other plants in in the spring. Our pear tree is the only one currently fruiting, and boy did we get a harvest from it this year. So many branches were so heavy. Luckily, we only lost one to snapping off because of the weight of the pears. Next year, I will be better about thinning. The best thing I made with the pears was some spiced maple pear butter. It is so good. Now moving on to my potage. This is how it looked in early September of 2020. I was hesitant to share some of this footage with you because there is so much grass growing up in a lot of the beds and a lot of other weeds uh, such as thistle and tall grasses and other flowering weeds that I just let go this year. And there are some other things that were discouraging about the garden this year. However, I do have beautiful flowers blooming and I did get quite a harvest off of my tomatoes as well as several other plants. So I do want to share that with you. had a great tomato harvest. This is a big basket of cherry tomatoes, which we got plenty of for my kids to eat fresh, as well as some to store in the freezer for processing later. My one-year-old discovered she could help pick as well as eat the cherry tomatoes in the garden. My favorite thing to harvest and a highlight of the year were my flowers and herbs. Here I have cosmos, hyssop, lemon balm and dill and so much more. The calendula flowers I just picked and picked and then this fall was able to make a solve with them. We had a hard frost warning a couple weeks before our average first frost this year, so I scrambled to get as much from the garden as I could, including flowers, herbs, pumpkins, anything I could find that might be affected by the frost. It turned out to only be a light frost for us, and actually most of my plants survived. My tomato plants produced for several more weeks. But I do enjoy looking back at these pictures of my dining room and kitchen just filled with our harvest. As this gardening year comes to a close, I am feeling so grateful not only for this land and for the harvest, but for the time it allows me with my family and for the connection it gives me with the plants and other creatures in this world. And I am grateful for all of you watching my videos. Thank you for joining me.